three zero left. We can do the K brew five. It doesn't really matter with the far transition shore. We're not going to be really going the full SID. Uh, but as far as the arrival is concerned, let's do index and MSP arrival. We'll be doing again ILS three zero left. Yeah, three zero left. Uh, hasty transition, sure. Okay. Legs page. We'll do vectors. Far than hasty. Get rid of that discontinuity. Alright, I think that's good. Alright, now we'll go up here. We'll just program in some numbers. Uh, we're just going to go up to 10,000, I think. The volume control on the audio panel will control the overspeed warning you do not like. Oh, very nice, Timber 61. I like that. I should get GSX, Glocky. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to bring up the... Well, I'll just leave it there. And we're going to do uh, 10,000 as the cruise. Cost index of... 45. So there's min fuel temp, cruise, thrust limit, outside air temperature, no D rate, flaps 5. CG. Okay, look at those V ref speeds 169, 178, 181. Dying. Okay. I think we're good to go there. So over here. We can turn our flight directors on. And we've got, uh, yeah, 10,000 bugged in the altitude. Uh, which version is that we're downloading that? Is that, that's, that's, okay, that's without the GTN, right? Or is that with two 750s? That's with two 750s, right? All right, let's do engine. Yeah, let's do right engines. Packs are off. Yep. Let's try engine start. And two's rising. Um. Adding fuel. Oops. She's starting up. It's an auto start. Oh, so I don't need to add fuel. It automatically goes fuel control run. Glocky. That'd be handy. Al, how you doing? The one I used last week? Okay. Perfect. Mature Gamer HD? Yeah, I've been, I, I, I haven't been in P3D probably in 11 months. 10 months maybe I don't know the last time actually maybe a little bit less no you don't need to wait for n1 to rise okay so if I go left start and I come back down here this thing's going to automatically go into the run position huh or do you're saying I just have to put it into the run position anytime but I still have to manipulate it okay I see what you're saying Just put it in any time. Okay. Thank you. I wonder why that spot view is not working. Let me go over to chase plane here for a second. Chase plane. If I click on spot view, that works. Let me assign a button on the joystick just to see. So assign button and we'll make it 
this one here. There we go, button 12. Now if I go here and I go back to captain view and then I hit this. Okay, that works. Oh, those things are still open. So back to here, let's do menu, uh, FS actions, doors. Yeah, for a 777. Yeah, we got a subcribe. Prozac. Eight months. When is the next red shirt day? Eight months in a row. Next red shirt day. That's a good question. Which door is this? Thank you for the subcribe. Thank you for the eight months, Prozac. Uh, I'll tell you what. Today's Wednesday. Maybe, maybe Friday. Maybe Friday. So which door? Let's see. Forward access. Close cargo, close aft, and close bulk. Now let's do that outside view again. Oh yeah, they're closing. So wait. On the volume control, the top nods for off 100 foot or 150. Oh, that's nice. That'll be very nice. They released a walk around a feature on chase plane how do you oh look at those doors I gotta close those doors as well um, doors close close open opening Alright, now we can start pressurizing. Okay, <laughs> so we got engine starts here. I guess we can turn these on to auto. Okay, uh, taxi light is on. Everything else looks okay. Fuel in center. Maybe I don't have fuel in the center. Yeah, I do. Oh, I do. Just a little bit. TCAS is off. Does it include getting drenched during a heavy rain? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, guys, in Utah, it's a they canceled school. Schools all over the Salt Lake Valley have been canceled for today. The roads are crazy. All right. We're going to th throttle up here. I do need to set something for my parking brake here, though. So, options, controls, uh, parking brake set. And I'm going to do that right there. Button 11. Hit OK. OK, parking brake is off. I'm going to add a little throttle on my $40 joystick. And I think I'm going to turn right. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at me. I can turn the APU off, right? And I can turn the APU bleed off and the APU gen off. Which plane performs the best or is most liked? 
Uh, well, we don't have a quality 777 in X plane, so can't really compare the two. Oh, it's stuck on key assignment page? Oh, that's weird. So the game capture is a little finicky. Whoa. Take out some lights. So that, yeah, the game capture is a little finicky. Woo! It's weird not having my rudder pedals. After enabling, go to static view and place the camera on the ground. You should start walking. Oh, okay. With your avatar, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, Camaro Z guy, yeah. Don't quite understand. I'm going to stop here for a second and set my parking brake. Um, I'm going to try display capture and see what happens here. So display capture. That might be better for now. And I will crop it just a little bit here. Mm, maybe not. Transform fit to screen. Nah, that's fine, I guess. That's fine. I was just getting rid of the border. Okay. Uh, did it? Did the uh, uh, get an update or just a rant? Yeah. This is just random 777. Doesn't the 777 have a steering tiller for uh, uh, driving on the ground? I know you can use rudder, but it doesn't work for large turns. Yeah, it 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 does have a, a tiller right there. But yeah, in the sim we use the rudder pedals, but I don't have any rudder pedals in Studio B, so I'm actually just twisting the joystick. Uh, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to do lights. I'm going to do strobes, taxi light off. We got a subcribe. Karathis 78. Karathis 78 hitting the... Uh, Hitting a gear mark. 12 months, baby. You got a globe now. Yeah, Studio B is where I have Farming Simulator, Truck Simulator, and now P3D. I'm not in the X-Plane Studio today. Studio A. Do I care about the bleed air? Oh, it's on auto. Okay. And then TCAS. T-A-R-A. Twenty three twenty one. All the B Sims. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, Timber, thanks for the update for the uh the but the twenty the one point six update. I will um Yeah, I will fly that either today or tomorrow. Still at work, figured I better catch a stream. There you go. Thank you for the twelve months. My braking, I'm using. On runway three zero left. I think we're ready to go. Um, let's turn on RTO. And then let's also put the AP gen on, on, I guess, so the light's out. That's weird. 
even though we're not using the APU. Uh, anything else I need to do here? Probably need to chime my fans in the back. Anti-ice is all on auto, which is really nice. Beacon should come on. I think it's I think it's ready to go. Arm the emergency lights. I thought I did. Yeah. Yeah, they're armed. Right? Uh, let's bug up. Uh, let's see. Heading. I swear, thank you for the subscribe. There we go. Scroll wheel's now working. Okay. We got a subscribe. Keep it going. Cajun Cacti, 18 months, two Twitch babies. All right. Let's uh, turn the sound down just a bit more because it's a little bit overbearing here. Because you know me. I'm a big sound guy. Thank you for the support. Cajun cacti. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go here to the legs page. All right, it's just vectors to gap. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and then I'm going to... Let me bring up the uh, approach plate here. I guess I can drag this over here now. So with the Navigraph, you can see us here on runway 30 left. Um... I'm going to go ahead and click on the approach and go find 30 left ILS. Click on that. It'll bring it down here. And then I'm going to double click on that and bring that up. So again, geo-referencing here on the Navigraph chart. And right there we are. Hey, another subscribe. Fokker70, 14 months, baby. 14 months. Clear for takeoff 30L. Thank you. 30 left. Cleared for takeoff. Um, we're going to fly out and then we'll do vectors back to Narco. Narco at 3000. And then we're supposed to be at Egan at 1520, it looks like. Yeah. Egan at 1520. Hopefully it'll intercept at Narco. 3,000, and at, th at that point, we're five, let's see, one, two, six, we're almost, yeah, seven, we're seven miles, six, oh, six point nine, it says, yeah, 6.9 miles out, so right then, there, our gear will be down already, we'll probably be, you know, flaps at least 15, if not more, and then we'll follow this down. Now, the thing about the 777 is that it automatically puts in the ILS frequency for you. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, that's that's the plan of attack. Thank you for the sub crab, Fokker 70. 14 months in a row. Alright, here we go. Throttle coming up. Parking brake is off. Oh crap. Stop, 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 stop. All right, flaps. Very important. And we'll go to uh, an outside view. And we'll zoom in on those flaps coming down. They take their sweet time coming down too. Oh yeah, we should set our trim as well. Such a different simulator, this sim is. It's completely different. 
All right, so trim, according to this, 5.25. Uh, oh, that's flaps on my joystick. Okay. There's flaps five. That was my trim. Oops. I'm going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Cool. 5.25. There's close enough. Interesting. All right, here we go. Can I press N1 or hmm, maybe not? Here we go. I got a I got a map a, to a toga button. Toga left screw MCP. Thank you. one's coming up. V1. We'll rotate. Okay, positive rate. Gear coming up. CP view. We'll climb three thousand. We'll can climb at twenty nine, and I'll do heading hold. Auto throttle two fifty. Hmm. Jay Krause, good morning. Thank you, Sky Tramp. I probably need to get my MCP panel going. Alright, now I'm going to bring up my chart and see where my georeferencing is. And let's go. Heading. We'll go ahead and 180 for now. Then I'll turn off. I'll leave my lights on. Yeah, flaps are flaps should be clean, right? Oh, flaps one. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Flaps clean. Thank you. Press A T to engage auto throttle. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, because auto throttle is armed, but it's not engaged. I mean, it was pretty close. Interesting. The clouds look kind of cool. Dang. Getting some good frame rates. Wow. Okay. Knit. Approach. Flaps. Thirty. It's supposed to be one seven six. Uh, 
10,000 feet. Navrad. How come the ILS frequency is not in there? Interesting. Okay. We'll go heading zero nine or zero. We're at ten thousand. Sparrow eighteen forty eight, how you doing? Uh yeah, there's an academic license for P three D, yep. to hasty so here on the FMC go to the legs page next page and we'll just go hasty right up to the top and execute we'll do LNAV direct hasty This plane remembers me that I need to get the 737 from them. Yeah, they're they're going to come out with that that next version though. Um how do you Okay, I can do this, can't I? I love the shortcut key B to set altimeter 3005. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who bought GoFlight. Yeah, I saw that they sold. Alright, I'm going to go on headings, heading select again. And I'm going to turn to the right. Just a little bit here. Just to kind of square up. And then I'm going to bug up 3,000. Was it Narco at 3,000? Yeah, Narco at 3,000. So I'm going to bug up 3,000 in the MCP. Do vertical speed. We'll go down at 2,000 feet per minute. And we'll slow to 240. Will I fly the 727 anytime soon? I can put it on the schedule, yeah. I know, doo-doo. I know, it's crazy. I know, I I know. It's just... I don't know. I just wanted to play with... I also got Queen... Oh, man. I got Queen of the Skies loaded. 7-4. And I got the set, uh, NGX loaded. But I don't have any GA loaded yet for the sim so it's really loud isn't it super loud I guess I can just do this for a moment Ooh, isn't that beautiful It's not so much that you want the Max, it's it's more that I want the modern airliner and PMDG. No, but I think they're coming out with an NGX reboot that will include updates to the 800, but I don't know. Marimos, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, the only the only airliners. Oh, I also loaded I also loaded the uh quality wings. So there's that. So yeah, we may uh, 
We may fly some 787 here. All right, I'm going to fly heading 120. Going down. Oh. My auto throttle's not on. That, or sorry, my auto throttle is on. It says 240, but yet my speed is 318. That is not good. But I guess it's related to my vertical speed. Hmm. So we'll pitch up. You're currently in England on a trip? Nice. Yeah, fish and chips, baby. With vinegar. All right, there's 3,000. I think I can turn in. Yeah, I think I can turn in. So let's make a turn in here. Uh, let's slow down to Getting so used to these. Okay, we'll fly zero two zero for the time being. There's four thousand feet. Yeah, JW Cruz P3D P3D today. It's a very rare moment in my life. It's very rare indeed. Ah, triple seven is pretty fun though. I am in Studio B today, so there is that. All right, continue our. Here we go. Turn it in. What's the Augusta, Brad? Okay, there's 3,000. Ooh, I am picking up the localizer. Awesome. So we will, let's, let's do localizer lock. And we're going to do flaps coming in and do flaps five for now. Yeah. Really nose up, nose up attitude here. And then we need to arm the speed brakes. Using the scroll wheel there. We'll also set up auto brake three, since I don't know what I'm doing. Lights are all good. All right, I am going to go ahead and just arm this approach. See what happens. 
And now it's up to us to manage the speed. You can see here. There's the magenta diamond right there. DME's 15.7. We'll drop the gear at 10 or 11 out. We'll watch the speed. A little bit of sound, I guess. WJT read my mind. Shift plus that to arm it. Okay, shift plus forward slash. Nice. Thank you. Gonna have to remember that. Thank you. Seen some of the massive rework SSG are, are doing for all the new 748 V2. Looking awesome. Brand new product. Pretty much everything redone. Still lots to do, but very, very promising. Oh, that's good news. That's good news because... I haven't tr I haven't bought it yet, so. All right, we're approaching Narco. Twelve out. We can keep it at one eighty. How do we get rid of the? Uh, Active Sky dialog boxes. They're kind of annoying. You see those up there? Probably in the settings somewhere, huh? Okay, 11 out. Drop the gear. Thick up here. Okay, we're ten out. Hide information on display page. Settings in P three D. Hide information on display page. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. I guess I could do it now. General hide information on display page it's probably somewhere in here right there information maybe I do want it on for a little bit Cleith how you doing my name is John Fry all right we're eight and a half out Additional flaps, 160, uh, it's pretty slow, 175, hmm, wow. Does it really land at 175? Wow, that's cool. All right, uh, we've captured the glide slope. Gear is down, we'll go in last notch of flaps. Just flaps 30. There's a checkbox in Active Sky under warnings. Ah, okay. I go over to Active Sky and I go under probably options, warnings. Uh, hmm, I don't see it. Oh, I do see the runway. There we go. Is it really 175 for landing? All right. I don't have any landing rate plug in, so. Don't bother guessing the landing rate today. We're 3.7 out. I think I'm ready to land. Can I disengage by this button here? Right? 
I think it's that button right there. My airplane. Uh, it's really heavy. It's really, really heavy. Because I have, like, tons of fuel. Because we just did a pattern and I loaded up too much fuel, but... Let's see what my $40 joystick can do. What is co the command for reversers? <laughs> Four thousand feet remaining. F two. Okay. Thank you. How'd you know that, Brad? <laughs> Three thousand feet remaining. All right. Do I want to go left or right? I think I want to go right. We can start. Raising the flaps. Ice pad. Okay, so what's the command to what's the uh, keyboard command for um, spoilers down? That okay. Thank you. See, Skytram's helping me out. You too once use P3D. <laughs> okay, so F2. I didn't use any reversers that time. <laughs> see how let's refamiliarize myself with um, chase planes replay mode which I totally forgot how to do there we go replay show playback window all right let's see what we can do here whoops okay now let's do spot view no ortho Winter textures are kind of a nice, fresh, new thing. I don't know why the parking brake sign is flashing, but... Yeah, the snow's nice, isn't it? My frame rates are not good right now for some reason. I'm going to try something here. I'm going to drag this back. And then I'm going to scroll around out here. Drag.
drag this back a little bit further. I will say the instant replay mode on Chase Plane is kind of cool. And then I'm going to go through uh, some of the views here. Press play. There's the right wing coming in. Front right. Tail left. Gear view. Wing left aft. Left wing. Lots of different view options. Passenger view. That's kind of a cool view. I know, Thordor. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, a taxi cam. Whoa. Wing left. Chase. Gear. Oh, that is kind of a cool view. <laughs> What is our frame rate right now? Yeah, frames are, well, they're actually okay. They're bouncing between 37 and 64. That's weird. Maybe I should, maybe I should put V-Sync on. It's a parallel universe today, yeah. at the very beginning. There's a lot of there's a lot of control in that replay awesomeness. You started on ninety eight, Skytramp? Nice. Explain is the first version you feel happy with. Yeah, yeah. I started with 10. And it was, 11 was, yeah, a big, a big game changer. <clears throat> what will I fly next? Um... I don't know. I think I probably should turn V-Sync on, huh? That way, it, or not V-Sync, maybe, maybe I'll come in here and I'll go graphics, and I'll say target frame rate 49. Maybe I should try V-Sync. Sure. All right, V-Sync on. Which will limit it to 30, on it? Or whatever my refresh rate is, I think. I was just wondering if it'd be smoother in here. No, it's still choppy. Too low terrain. 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 Doesn't feel fluid even though the frame rates are nice. How come my spoilers aren't going up? It's weird. Alright, graphics. A little V Sync off. Unlimited here. I haven't changed anything in here. Uh, I haven't changed. Uh, this is whatever just was default, right? I am running 4K. I don't know if I should have any of these on. Anti-aliasing, anti-otropic, 
ultra resolutions. I don't even know. Oops. I need to go back there. Graphics. Unlimited. VSync off. Try try turning off MSAA. Maybe enable triple buffering with VSync. Graphics. MSAA off. And triple buffering. All right, let's try that. Now we'll go back here just a bit. Hit play. I still feel like there's some stuttering there. It's like it's going down to, yeah, it's the frame rate is just bouncing all around still. Hmm. Uh, I'm using a 1080 Ti. Also, at 4K, you probably don't need anti-aliasing. That's probably true. Graphics, anti-aliasing, off. Still have some jerky. Okay, graphics. Let's try anzeotrophic 2x and high on the texture resolution. Hmm. Try capping at 60. All kinds of different things. Hey, Matt Davies is here. How you doing? Long time no see, man. How you? How are you? All right, I'm going to go graphics, and I'm going to go 60 target frame. Still having a little bit of stuttering. You think some of the stutter is due to chase plane? That could be. That's that's possible. Yeah, I'm doing well, Matt. Yep, doing well. You're when you took that little short break from streaming, man, you were missed. You were missed, my friend. Um Well, I mean, I can try to take Well, no, cuz even when we were flying, when we were not in the replay mode of chase plane, it was still getting a little stuff. I think it's actually related to, um, I think it's related possibly to the fact that I'm streaming on the same PC. <laughs> uh, no, we're just having a little bit of a stutter, Matt. Like right here, you can, if you watch the ground, the target, the frames, the FPS, it, you know, it goes as high as 52 right there, but then it goes as low as eight. 13, 10, 45, 49. So it's like, it's just not staying constant. And I, I'm probably going to switch to a, I'm probably going to switch to a, um, uh, 2k monitor. And, you know, it'll be easier than dealing with the 4k. Take the triple buffering off. Hit OK. The streaming on the same P as your sim won't help, especially on a 4K setup. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Never lock your FPS inside the sim, always externally. So. When you say never lock your FPS inside the sim, always externally. Um, I'm just curious what you what you mean by that. Um, I will go to the task manager. Yeah, CPU is getting rocked. Chase plane's taking 15%. 
OBS is taking 14, 15. Prepared is taking 22, but the GPU 100% rocking. Oh, NVIDIA Inspector. Okay. If you have a four screen though, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably switch this to a two K. It's just easier. Yeah, it does thirty hertz. Yeah. It won't do sixty hertz. <laughs> I assume it can do thirty hertz. Yeah, for it looks really good. It's just that small little stutter effect that we're having. But uh, it's an older, it's a TV actually, so. Resolox, how you doing? 